Hello, it's Elroy here, and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to change the Price Fister 4 screw cartridge, the 974-0420. The handle is held on by one center Phillips screw. And uh, it usually takes just a couple seconds to screw all the way out. Real easy like. Sometimes they're corroded in, but you know what I like to do? I like to break them off. Especially if the customer's not watching. I, di I just grab a hold of them and break it right off. <laughs> so then all you got after that is the escutcheon. The escutcheon is holding the trim plate on. I usually like to use a strap wrench to remove this escutcheon. Especially if I don't have another one with me. Uh, this particular escutcheon is the old gold finish price fister. And Price Fister doesn't even make that finish anymore. So if you don't want to have a severely pissed off yuppie, you better not scratch that gold finish. You better get yourself a strap wrench and some CLR. Spray that CLR up in there and use your strappy to get that thing off. Because I'm telling you, you scratch that gold finish, you're going to have a yuppie jumping down your throat in a matter of minutes. All right? Strap wrench works wonders on this thing here. So once you get that sketching off, all you got to contend with is the faceplate. I like to use a painter's tool or a putting knife to get my faceplates off. And they usually just pop right off. Usually uh, got a little thin bead of caulking around them. The cartridge is held in by four screws. You're gonna remove each of those screws, Phillips head screws. But stop before you do that. Make sure the water is off. You better have the water off to the house before you start touching this valve, boys. Unless you want to take a shower while you're changing the cartridge out. I mean, it's up to you. So you remove the four Phillips head screws, and then you're going to go ahead and slide that cartridge out. Now, usually the cartridge is one piece, but this one was two pieces, and that back half there is the pressure balancing half. Now, if you want to be a cheapskate, you can go and just change that back half there and just throw the top half back in on top of it, and you'll be fine. But I always recommend putting in the one piece. I mean, why not? Price Fister will send it to you for free. So, I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. Price Fister will send it right to your doorstep for free. So, anyways, I mean, yeah, it takes a few days, but I mean, what the heck? Once you get that cartridge out of the package there, you're going to want to grease up those back O-rings. Grease them up nice and good, you hear me? And then you're going to want to grease up the O-ring that holds the cartridge in the valve. But you definitely want to make sure that you grease up these O-rings. This is crucial, boys and girls. This part here is going to promote the longevity of your cartridge, all right? So you want to make sure those O-rings got plenty of grease all over them. And then you're gonna slide that cartridge right up in that valve there. Make sure the little vampire teeth on this sucker's facing down or that dirty girl's not gonna work right. If the little vampire teeth aren't facing down, it's not gonna work right, boys and girls. So you're gonna wanna make sure that they're facing down, okay? You're gonna put your Phillips screws back in. You can put them in in any order you want, but I always do them, uh, you know, bottom right, top left, Bottom left, top right. I don't know why. I'm just a weirdo. That's how I've always done it. That's how I always do it. Till the day I die. One thing I wanted to add is, you know, don't go telling your friends that you've been greasing up O-rings and sliding cartridges in valves all day or, you know, think you're doing some type of pornography. So you don't want to be doing nothing like that, all right? The church will disown you. Think you're some type of sodomite. All right, so now we're gonna clean up the outside of the the faceplate area. All this grime's been building up over there for all these years. All that soap and dirt and just butthole juice and all that stuff's just been building up all over that little section there. And that's why I wear those rubber gloves. I clean that off and then I stick the faceplate back on. But before I do that, I'm gonna scrape off any excess caulking 
because I plan on putting my own caulking on it, if you know what I mean. And you always want to make sure that the, you leave a little weep hole at the bottom. Now, Price Fister put that little gasket in there. That's supposed to waterproof it, but I still like to put caulking. Now, to hold that face plate on, you're going to put the escutcheon on. That gold escutcheon that we tried saving earlier, and hopefully you were able to. Oh, <laughs> there's our handle. And you know what I'm going to do with this handle here is, uh, I didn't have any epoxy or any other type of glue, so I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze a little bit of white caulk up in that handle there. And I'll, uh, put it back on. Good as new. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Me and the customer called Price Fister, and we got another handle ordered, and it's on its way, and... He can put it on himself. It's just a Phillips screw straight down the middle. And if he has any problems with that, God help him. He can call me and I'll come do it for him. So I put my bead of caulking around the valve there and I clean it up, make sure there's a little weep hole at the bottom. You always wanna make sure there's a little weep hole. Don't caulk all the way around the valve. And then I'm gonna test the valve. And she looks beautiful like everything I do.